Good morning, <clears throat> and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. This might be my last makeup video for today. I think, I think that'll be good. And we'll make up for the rest tomorrow. So, it is Saturday, July 17th, the 15th Saturday of Ordinary Time. And it is the feast day of St. Benedict of Skalka. And he was a Benedictine monk. Um, and he's, of course, venerated as a saint. But I don't think he's a martyr, even though you know, he, he became a hermit. And he lived a, a very austere life in a cave along the Va River. And uh, he was strangled to death in the year 1012 by a gang of robbers who were looking for treasure in that cave. So he was put to death, but I, I don't think it was because of his faith. Um, so I don't think he's considered a martyr, but he, but he is a saint. Uh, and he is the patron saint of sailors of the Va River. So there we go. That is Saint Benedict of Skalka. Today's gospel is from Matthew chapter 12, verses 14 through 21. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. But the Pharisees went out and took counsel against him to put him to death. When Jesus realized this, he withdrew from that place. Many people followed him, and he cured them all. But he warned them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through Isaiah the prophet, which states, Behold, my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom I delight. I shall place my spirit upon him he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not contend or cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoldering wick he will not quench, until he brings justice to victory. And in his name the Gentiles will hope. That's a pretty powerful gospel. We just have Jesus healing a man with a withered hand, uh, but it says the Pharisees automatically wanted to put him to death which seems kind of unfair. Um, but even after Jesus continued to heal people, he told them not to, not to tell them about him, um, which just demonstrates the humility that Jesus had um, of being God's chosen servant. Um, and then also, um, yeah, in his obedience to God the Father, which I think is pretty powerful. <clears throat> as well as to the, the prophets um, from the Old Testament and Isaiah, you know, of just saying, you know, because he's speaking about himself here, you know, he will not contend or cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. So Jesus knows that he's not supposed to put up a fight to the world. Um, really, his biggest battle is against Satan and then also himself, his own human self, um, of battling that to make sure that he does what. God the Father is calling him to do. And, um, yeah, just pretty much just saying that God will bring him justice um, to all those that are going to attack him. And um, instead of the very last phrase, which I think is going to be our, our challenge for today, is, and in his name, the Gentiles will hope. Um, so the challenge is, what do you hope for? And what do you have faith in? And, uh, you know, what, what gives you hope in a, in a world that needs more and more of it? Of, of good virtue. So whatever that might be, uh, take it to prayer and see if whatever it is that you're hopeful for, if it's part of God's plan or not. And uh, that, is, uh, that is what's constantly on my, in my prayers. So with that, enjoy, enjoy your, your prayer time and uh, have a great day. God bless and keep it real. In the Father, Son, and Spirit, amen.